here's our toilet. It's one of them uh, Briggs Vacuity, Vacuity toilets. Uh, we bought it in 2000 at Menards, brand new. And, you know, it, here's how it flushes. See how it don't, it used to make a sucking noise. And with some search online about diagrams and looking in here, this is a vacuum chamber. And if it does that, the vacuum chamber isn't working because that's what helps this toilet flush. And last year our toilet plug did the same thing and eventually it plugged on us because there's not enough of flush to move everything down the toilet. And so we took it apart, took it outside, because you can't plunge this normally. Um, but when I replace the parts, and I'll show you later, I'll show you how we plunge it. It's a special way, there's an air tube that goes down here. And you've got to take this plastic tub out and cover that air tube with your hand while you're plunging. Otherwise, the air will just come up through there and won't do nothing. Matter of fact, if you plunge, you'll see this little tank move up and down as you're plunging. So you got to do a little di different things here and um, this has been a real good toilet for us over the years and but last year it started acting up where it did that doing the same thing it's doing now. So we took the toilet all apart look at this look at that I should have replaced the gaskets between the top tank and the bowl. There's two of them. There's the big round one that goes through the for the water the spillway and then there's the little rubber one that goes to seal that vacuum tube and we never thought nothing of it I mean they were old and crushed a little bit but they still seem a little bit pliable so we put the tank back together and lo and behold it flushed so all I can think is we must have disturbed the gasket down there and um, uh, made it work and now it's acting up again this thing here is optional we got this that's a little tablet you put in there to keep the tank because we got a lot of rust in our water out here but anyhow, uh, I'm just guessing this because we haven't, we don't got the parts yet, but I won't, that tank ain't working. I mean, it's not filling up with water like it's supposed to. And it's, it's just like the tank isn't in there. That's how it flushes. So I'll come back to that and then, but that's, that's, I'm hoping that's it. So like maybe, maybe I, you'll never see this video because if it doesn't work, I probably won't put it up. But I might just put it up just to make an honest video. Cause I gotta fix this or I gotta buy a new toilet. So I'll, uh, we'll do the parts, voila. And then we'll um, film it while we're doing it. There's not much light here. It's a pretty, pretty enclosed place. So I have one of them stick lights up there for, but it's been a good toilet. It's a uh, ADA compliant toilet, nice and high. It only uses 1.6 gallons. And it's been a beautiful toilet for we bought it, I think, in 1999 or 2000, and it's it's only it just started doing this, and that would explain the gaskets getting old. And I was going to replace them, but you can't buy them gaskets locally. They're special gaskets, so you, you got to buy them. There's only a, you can buy them from the Briggs site online, but um, you know that was a wait. We needed a toilet, so we had to just put it back on. Luckily, it worked, so it's starting to do it again. And when it don't when it don't flush, when it does this. See it don't glug. See the water don't go glug. And it's got a glug. And when it glugs, that's when that vacuum tank works. See, because that gives that extra boost to blast things down the toilet. So when it does that, beware. You better watch it when you're. I mean, if you're the kind of person that, that takes huge dumps, right now this isn't the toilet for you. But when I get it fixed, you'll be happy to use it. Okay, so this I'll come back to this later. Here's the two parts that we're replacing the toilet. This is the main. They call it the wing coupling gasket, and that's the part number. And here's the one that's causing the no flush. This little sucker right here. It's the call. It's called uh, the va tank vacuity vacuum sealed gasket rubber. That's the one, and that's the part number. These are all OEM, these are all from Briggs. One that makes a toilet. This is the little sucker right here, I'm hoping. If this doesn't do it, then I'll be made a fool. 
and I will put these part numbers in the description of the video like I always do. Okay, we're back, we got the parts. It's a few days later, and now I, my son's gonna be doing the work and I'll be filming. But what you do is basically, you gotta turn the water off, you see the supply valve down there, he'll turn the water off. I won't be able to film him doing it because if he gets in there, I ain't gonna be able to see nothing. And he's got a towel down here, and he'll take the cover off the tank, and then he'll drain everything. He'll flush the toilet, drain as much water as he can, and when we get to that stage, you go ahead, Johnny, I'll talk while you're doing it. When we get to that stage, so there's no way I can get in there. But he's turning the water off. And then take the cover off and put it, I'll get out of your way. Sit it over here somewhere. Now flush the toilet. Pull the, pull the lever down. Okay, he took that plastic tank out that's in here. Okay, he took that plastic, he'll have to scoop some of the water out because it'll spill, his water will spill when he's doing it. And this thing here is, we use that because we got rusty water and this keeps it from getting rusty in the tank. Well, it helps a little bit. And uh, this is the pipe, the vacuum pipe. By the way, when you plunge this, this kind of toilet, you've got to take the cover off, you've got to take that plastic thing out that my son did, and you've got to put your hand over this hole or put a cork in there while you're plunging the toilet, otherwise it won't plunge. The air will come up through here and you won't do nothing. So this toilet is a little different when it comes to trying to plunge it out. You've got to plug this hole when you're plunging the toilet. That toilet. And that there's a gasket at the end, that little one, and that's the reason this sucker ain't flushing all the way. So here we go, this gets messy now. You can, get, you can reach down there and suck it off. You got some kind of vacuum device, like a wet and dry bag. It ain't, it ain't worth it. A little bit of water never hurt anybody. So he's gonna lift it, but this, this side is full of water. Okay, so he's gotta be careful and then he'll just pour it out in the bathtub when he gets done. And there, I do explain that good enough. Anything else to say for this, Johnny? Yeah, well, when we get to that right now, you gotta be doing that. He's gonna go under there. You gotta disconnect the, he's gonna dis disconnect the water line next. How much one it is, actually. It'll be, it'll be some. He won't. Just a little bit will spill. Careful, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, when you turn that, make sure that, that that plumbing inside the tank, that filled valve, doesn't spin. No, no, it's spinning, Johnny. Johnny? Yeah. Hold the other nut that's under there, too. There's a nut that holds that thing in the tank. Just that little nut comes off. And then tighten that nut that holds that flow valve in there, that fill valve. Got it? Yep. Okay. Okay, now carefully pull and bend that, that pipe. It's a plastic pipe. Bend it to the side a little bit just to get it out of the way. Okay, there you go, there you go, that's good. Okay, and you don't do nothing else. Now you gotta get the nuts. And remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you'd be spinning it with a thing handle going to the back wall. I think that what size would you say it is? About a half inch? If I can get in there or not. Okay, here we're back. My battery died. Um, you got both sides loosened? Yeah. You got the nuts off? Yeah. Okay, I don't even have to show you th th doing this. He's taking the nuts off. The two, but there's two bolts that go through the tank, through the back part. You got to release them. No nut in the washer. Okay, here he goes. I'm just going to take the tank off. And you just lift it up, straight up. Keep it. Try to keep it level. Bring it over here. Well, careful, careful, careful. And hold it real good on top too, John. Put your hand inside the top. There you go. And you just pour in the extra off. And you see there's the area there. There's the, the one piece, rubber piece. And the other one's stuck to the tube, like it usually is down there. There it is. I guess they ain't attached. They're separate. Okay, here we are. We got it sit in the other room. You can, let's show me the, where's the old one of that, Johnny? 
Now, here's, here's the one that I believe is leaking. Look, look at the shape this one's in. Let me get like this here. Look at that, that thing. Is, here's the new one next to it. So, new one, old one. So, this, I believe, is what's leaking because this has to be leak proof. Totally leak proof. It's like a bad vacuum line in your car. If, if, you, if you have that, any leaks, you got problems. Well, that's why we got to, it won't flush. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. And you may not see these, this set up on your tank where you got a washer nut here. I learned that from a plumber years ago. Most tanks just have the bolts going through and the bottom nuts that attach to the bottom part of the, the, the bowl are what tighten up and keep the gaskets from leaking. Well, he showed me a way to keep them forever leaking from not leaking. Okay, John, you can wipe it off. And just a little down there a little bit. That's no big deal. There you go. And hear that. Looks like Ajax or something. Okay. That's all black algae. Okay, now, John, I'll let you put this on. You just slip it over the bowl holes like this. Work it down. Get one start a little bit, push down, and then get the other one. And of course it goes with the cone down. And it looks like it don't want to fit, but it does. They're all that way. At least the ones I did. Now work it, when you get it down, push it all the way down. It's fun, isn't it? It's tight. It's not like the old one. The old one stayed in the tank, that's how bad it was. Okay, let's push this down a little further. A socket would work good for that. Okay, just do it. That's good. Now you got John, you gotta push, work this around that lip. See that, that pipe? This one be too tall. Hey, you gotta make sure they're down all the way. Okay, that went on. A little bit of coercion. A socket over the bolt would help good going down. Okay, John, you can do that little thing. Now that they just you know show them the thing first, Johnny. See the tapered end? That tapered end, of course, goes down. And this fits flash here, there you go. Uh, you'll have to work it, wiggle it through. Careful. Sometimes getting it wet helps too. Just felt it just touches the tank, Johnny. There you go. I think it's so bad. That's good, you don't have to, you don't have to, just so it does that's good. Off. Okay, there's um, there's they're mounted. Okay, they're all ready to go. Boy, what a difference this is! What a difference. Okay, I got a feeling that this is gonna solve the problem, and then I'll be a genius. Okay, so now that's it. It took about about two minutes, three minutes. Now we'll go put it back on, tighten, and do the, just the opposite. Put the bolts and the washers on. Ain't that right, Johnny? Yeah. And it's gonna be a little different because now these bolts are gonna be barely sticking through the holes because these nice thick new water new caskets and then we hook up the water line and blah 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 do it test for leaks and see if it works if it works i'll upload the video to youtube if it don't work this video will disappear okay now he's cleaning the area off especially clean that vacuum hole area real good too johnny reach inside there and turn the rag too johnny in case there's chunks of calcium or because we got real rusty water we got a water softener that takes care of that you know a certain amount but it doesn't take care of all of it. There. Okay, now we prepare to get the tank clean, and then we haul it, it's all clean. Clean as we're gonna get it. Now you wanna get a good hold on it for the sides. And this is the tricky part, but all you gotta do is make sure that the two bolt holes line up. And yeah, there you go. Now just I'll hold it, Johnny. While you put the stuff on. So hold, let me let me let me get it. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, yeah, it'll be spongy. <laughs> okay, so you know the gaskets are are a beautiful shape. Now he just a little high up off the toilet that sits. Start one first and go to the other. And I can't fill much here because I'm holding on a tank and until he gets the thing hand tightened 
And the trick on this is not over tighten it because you could crack the, the tank below or above. And you gotta buy a new toilet. And so he just gets a little bit there and you go this side, I'll get out of your way. Go around. Ah, yeah. Okay. There ain't much room here to film. I, I didn't I was debating whether I was gonna film this repair because there ain't much room to see. He already can't show what he's doing with it. Now I'll get out of here with him more. Oh, it ain't easy when you gotta hold the the, the um, washer on. And by the way, needless to say, we're not licensed plumbers or I mean we're just home homeowners that do this stuff when we need to do it. So, you know, you take that, our advice, is that you got tightened up already? Yeah, okay, good. So you take our advice, you know, with a grain of salt, but this is just do it yourselfers that do this stuff on our own. Now the trick on this, he's got to tighten it a couple turns on one side and go to the other side, back and forth, back and forth, evenly tighten it. And don't over tighten, you don't want to tighten it so it clamps all the way down. There's going to be some spring in it. Let me back off a little bit. And I'm not going to film this part because you're not going to see it. And I want to hold the tank straight and, and you know, form. So I'll just on the pump. Okay, we got got the water line tightened in it. That was real fun. Got the bolts. We leveled it as good as we can. It's a little level across the front. And now he's going to put that little vacuum chamber in over that tube put that back okay now we're not going to put the cover now I'll turn the water on let's check for leaks turn on slow look for leaks up around the bottom there see the leaks no do it slow Hey Johnny, give me that wand, that light wand. Use your light to make sure, look up around where the thing attaches to the tank. It's filling, I'll tell you in a second. Good? Yeah, Good time to fill. Now we flush the toilet, Johnny. The water, will, if it's gonna leak, it'll leak right up front here, Johnny. Right up here or around the sides. Yeah. Cause it, it shouldn't leak because it's a it's a it's not a pressure fitting like a like a water line. Yeah, it just it's sitting on. Yeah, it just sits on it and wait till it shuts off. Then I'll give you the glory of flushing it. You'll hear it suck air if it works. Okay, go. It might take a couple flushes for that tank to be charged. No water. 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 Okay, now lift the cover up. Let's let it fill. I think it flushed all the way. Let's see if the water can make, let's see if it makes that beautiful chugging sound. There are iron stains in the yeah. tank. We can't. Borderline living. Problem solved. You should see water get inside of it. Yeah, Maybe I can tell. Yeah, give it time here. Do it. Now get down there with a. Yeah, it's full. It's almost full with water. Take this and go down and look real detail around all the water connections. Look for any signs of water. Dry. Beautiful. Yeah, that puts me dry too. Okay. And what model, let's see what model tank this is. This is a Briggs uh, 4400. It's a Briggs 4400. 1.6 gallons per flush. Briggs E, that's a 4400. The fours, the ink is missing on the four, but it's a 4400. And that's it. Put the cover on, we're done. We're back online. Now we can take big, huge dumps. So Johnny, yours, you'll, you'll finally be able to flush it with yours. Okay, now that we're all done, 
the, the stuff I learned from a plumber that I worked with us when I was doing building maintenance, take a paper towel and put it under the, the connectors you did, the, the work you did, that'll detect the real small, slow drips that you're not gonna sit around for. Come back, keep it there for a day, and see if it's perfectly dry. If it is, you're good to go. And there you go. Then he puts the cover back on, puts the tools back, and this job is done. The job is done. And I'm telling you, that's a real cramped area. And now we got another 20 years off this thing. Yeah, it doesn't sit perfectly dry because that, that purple thing. Just get it as best you can sitting on there. That's all I just push it, push it around because I see it here. Huh? The purple thing needs to move over. It does. You got to lift it up, sit it on the seat here, and then move that purple thing over until it touches the black head. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, just until it touches it. There you go. That's about all you'll be able to do. Yeah, see, that does it. Barely. That wasn't made for it. Okay, well, 